Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner, welcome back to another episode of Anachronox. We're still in Sender Station, still exploring this area, this upper area. Uh, let's see, we've spoken with those two guys, this guy, can I open this door? We can. Okay, there is a door here that we can open. Did I speak with this lady? He said to wait for him here. He promised to come back. That was two days ago. He was a dashing young pilot. He swept me into his world and said he would take me away from this place. I believed him. I bought two tickets to Democratus. We were going to start a new life there together. He took the ticket and said to wait for him here while he got the luggage. He'll come for me. I'm sure he will. Uh, he probably won't. I remember the first time I bashed the punk's head in. It was the summer of 23. We were quelling a spat of civil unrest in Cordica. Man, those were the days. I remember the feel of the whack as my arm absorbed the impact. I kept going for the eye, that single unblinking eye clubbing it until it cried blood. I'll always remember that wonderful feeling. Every time I see one of these one-eyed bastards walking around, I think of the first time. Sometimes it's hard to resist the temptation to relive that moment. Okay, story time's over. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Two months. There's no way we can get the stabilizers properly installed in that short amount of... Shh. Get it done. That's ridiculous. How do you expect to get quality work from folks who haven't had it... We haven't had a day off or a decent night's sleep in six months. You can't just... Shh. Get it done. But you're being unreasonable. Don't you see that? Shh. Get it done. Oh, sod off. Get it done yourself. I quit. Where does he get off mouthing off like that? Without us, he's nothing. He was hired to do a job. Why can't he just get it done? What are you doing? Are you getting it done? Hello? Where's that guy get off treating the workers this way? Without us, he's nothing. Uh, this guy is blocking the door. I doubt I can go in. Yeah. Just making sure. What about you, sir? What's your story? A lot of people rag on Cordicom, but the truth of the matter is we've made it possible for the masses to live in comfort for re relatively cheap. So eat me. Yeah, that's right. That door does not open. That Warren Whedon, he's leaving a, th a pseudo religion who's Faith is in money. Currency, their god. What else is new, right? He's trying to recruit converts by speaking free today. But look out, once he gets his meat hooks into you, he'll string you along until you're in the poorhouse. What a crackpot. Hey, you interested in investing in Bipidri meat? Not really, no. Can't you not interrupt while I'm speaking? Can I speak with... Okay. And when the great misfortune befalls you, your only protection will be your solvency. Save up, my flock. Make no mistake. In whatever form it comes, it will be a blight upon us all. Only two moments are inevitable. 
Death and the Cataclysm. And when the great misfortune befalls you... Okay, it's the same thing over and over. Okay. I guess I can speak with these guys. Yeah. Did I speak with you? I did. Okay, so we've explored this side. Let's see... Oh, by the way, um, I've read online that um, a solution for the FPS problems I was having is just to launch the game through the um, through the uh, configuration tool. I seem to notice a difference. Not a lot, though. Sin Dormitory. And this is the sender net. Okay. I don't feel like reading all of that. Didn't the guy say that the uh, ticket seller was into clowns? Hmm. That's the Lipkinker 4 over there. They held a Buffalo conference last October. Their singing voices are pretty good too. They end every conference with a barbershop quartet, rendition of Funny Money, in Brebulan. Bet I could kill all four of them. Just cause a company's profit growth is sky high, doesn't mean you should dive in, right? The price of the stock's gotta jive too. Invest in stock only if the price is right as rain. Investors poo poo dividends, but when the market's in the gutter, I'm in the pink. Invest in dividends! You gotta invest fast and hard, baby. Run with the winners and deep six the losers and quick. Invest aggressively. You gotta buy contrary to public wisdom. No, really. Scoop up all of them junk stocks nobody wants. Believe me, it pays. Invest in junk. Window Mart. It opens. I always wanted to be a mime. Now I'm a banker instead. Life sucks. Oh, I can speak with the clown. What, is it the kids? Goat knife. Yeah, I know the creep. Did he tell you I was scalping tickets? That jerk man. I don't do that stuff anymore. Will you let me alone? I don't know anything about it and you're pissing off the clown. Look, there's a guy hiding in the shadows around the lounge of commerce just up the way. Ask him. Now get off my back already. I've been so lonely since my husband died. He had a brilliant mind. I miss his genius. No one could ever replace him. But sometimes I wish I could meet someone special. No, not you. I want to speak with a lady. Oh, I'm just an old daydreamer. Never mind me. Fine. Lounge of Commerce. Hey, you make opportunities for yourself. If you don't have the stomach for what it takes to succeed, you're a loser. You're not important in my life, and I doubt you're very important in yours either. You carry your insignificance well. Tell me more, Master Raiha. Look at Raya, Raya Raya bragging about his investments. What's this? It? Tit? I bet my portfolio is bigger than his. My investments are firmer and last longer. 
Naughty sent you? Why didn't you say so in the first place? You need tickets? How many? Where? I need two tickets to Sunder. Sunder? Hard to find on such short notice. It'll cost ya. But I think we can arrange something. Find slick gentlemen in the root tubes underneath pumping station 7. The entrance is an unmarked door near the pack station. We can also enter the lounge of commerce. Look at him. Does he think we don't know? Does he think we're ever going to respect him? I'm talking about that little clone over there. He's one of Data's kids. Accuse him of dirty money. And he'll cry foul, insisting Data's gone legit. It's the same old story. Data may be a big fish on an Ekronox where every, everyone's crouching for money. But he'll find it's a very different story up here. Every couple of years you get small time hoods who make it big back. Who make it big back on whatever armpit they crawled out from under. Now they want to exploit the wealth of Sender Station. But the Sender Economic and Trade Commission is much too tough a nut to crack for that class of a man. I mean, look at his suit. Although you're rather shabbily dressed, I can tell by your demeanor that you were once a person of wealth. You've got the look in your eye of a man who lost everything. As the Brabulans say, may you live in better times. Kill. Murder. Rage. That unbelievable Sheezer! He took my sail. It was my sail. I earned it. What did he do for it? He stabbed me in the back. I was about to sign a multi-million loony deal with a client. The fees would have set me clean for months. But someone from my firm, my own firm, called him and told him it was a bad deal, turning it around to make a buck for himself. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. This is a call to action. I'm not gonna stand for this. I want some response here. I'm gonna call my regional and tell him he needs to turn this thing around. I mean, the guy blew it out to make his own fees. We're in the same firm and he sabotaged me. Stabbed me in the back quicker than... I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Greetings, I am TraderBot, Lamalu, wanna trade? Hello sir, may I be of assistance? Okay, it's one of these robots that sell um, apparently rare items. I just lost everything in a bad investment with some Gorian businessman. My life is over. I can't even wing a song. You sure you want to be seen talking to me? I'm a representative for Data Core. Well, it's nice to see that not everybody around here is so judgmental. People jump to conclusions about me, you know. I can't say I don't blame them. There ain't no use denying that Mr. Data has a questionable background. I can't deny that. But he runs a clean business now. Honestly, I should know. I'm on his board of directors. In addition to being a legitimate businessman, Vandalin Data is quite, a, is quite an erudite gentleman. Not only is he a generous benefactor of the cultural arts, he also owns one of the largest private collections of Mystech in the galaxy. Problem is, his reputation is in the toilet. All the rumors about his background make it hard to broker any deals. Hell. I can't even get a drink. The bartender says it's cause she can't see me behind the bar. What are you laughing at? You laughing at me? No, I'd rather not be the center of your amusement. Excuse me. Pick your poison. 
Uh, nothing, thanks. Well, actually, I'll have a sluice. Listen, if you're down on your luck, there's a lady at the Royal Penthouse Suites who's always looking for someone to do odd jobs for her. Her name's Contessa Shrivenstein. Tell her M Mulefay sent you. Ooh, cool. Time Minder. Aren't dark corners the best places to unwind? I love walk watching the shadows on the wall. Okay, it's um well it it's a bar. Relatively small place. Not a lot of people to talk to here, and no quests. Okay, I think we have explored the entirety of this common area of uh, Sender Station. So, let's go to the any one around the corner here. No. So let's start going into buildings. Vendelmart. Hey, I'm TraderBot Vince. I got the best deals and I'm looking for quality items. I can only sell the flower. I don't know, I only have one. I'm not sure if it's useful or not. Don't be fooled by the hype. Megalocephal... Megalocephalic Wendy is nowhere near as good as Megalocephalic Fred's. Not only does Fred come with 40 collectible containers, but he but he also sings the special Megaloce Megalocephalic family theme song in 12 languages. Pretty remarkable, wouldn't you say? You are seriously disturbed. Well, gosh, that's not a very friendly thing to say. Truth hurts, babe. I don't talk to mean people. Even cute ones. Vendomart. Insert credits. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's, a, it's an elevator. Uh, pay to... Oh, I... I think I read something about this place. Well, welcome to Pay to Pray. The relics of 3600 different religions are housed here within our bank vault secure, bulletproof, pray pod. For only a reasonable fee of 50 loonies, you can be put in the presence of a holy relic from the religion of your choice. From a Gorite Glory Tether to a Brebulan Saint Spine, we guarantee a quality communion with an authentic relic, no matter how obscure your faith. Would you like to purchase quality time with our Prey Pod? Sure. It's against the rules to allow a non-worshipper near a holy relic. Return here when you can present proof of your faith. For example, a student of the School of Order might present a holy prism as evidence of his belief. Yeah, I think this is where Grumpos can get his second skill. I'll meditate with pentagonal prism. What a dazzling prism. We graciously accept it as valid proof of your involvement with the School of Order. Step up to the Prey Pod. The Black Cube of Perfection will rotate into position shortly. My meditations have proven fruitful. Grumbos learns Staff Sweep. Seems interesting. Oh, I can pick the lock. Oh, it's a hard lock. Uh, this won't do. 
Let me add something to my lock notes. So we have the the chest at home. A door in Frank's flop house. And now a door at pray no pay to pray. And there is nothing else here. Let's go upstairs. There's a gun at number nine. Everyone thinks I'm a pushover. Guards always pick on me. They beat me up and stick their finger in my lunch. I was trying to buy a heel, a heel grease, but this weird prism was jammed up in the delivery slot. Any idea what it is? This is a holy prism from my school of order. I can meditate with this at the pay to pray downstairs. Oh, I got a new one. Yeah. Thanks for taking my prison, man. So can I actually buy things here? And do I just get another skill for Grumpos? Well, that's awfully convenient. Let's do it again. Heal fields. Oh, cool. I assume it's a field that heals. Just a wild guess. Okay, I guess we're done here. Spoken with those dudes. Send dormitory. I'm trader bot norm. Wheel, deal, buck, or walk. That's all of those rare items. Should I grow a mustache? Oh, wait, you want a chamber, don't you? Two bucks a piece. An extra buck gets you a pillow. Sure. Well, maybe not sure. I think this is only useful if I want to heal. Oh, I can't go that way. I, I think I heard something. Well, I heard. I think I read something about there being a red bipedri over here. So we're going to hunt him down. Unfortunately, that will have to wait until next time. For now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed another episode of Anacronox. And as usual, don't miss the next one, because I won't. I will see you all next time.